and here we're going to load a G-code file. Right now I don't have one uh, in the machine. If I did, I would click Close G-code. I'm going to go to Load G-code. This is just a Windows Explorer window that's going to allow me to load our where we've saved our G-code file. A G-code can be saved as a .txt, .ncc, .nc, or a tape file .tap. Here, this is just a regular Windows uh, notepad text file. I'm going to click open. Here you can see I've cut a uh, circle and a square. Straight line moves are light green. Arcs are dark green. Very easy to distinguish against. And then here I have red lines which are rapid traverse. This shows where the tool is currently at. This is where it needs to be. So from where our current minus 5.31 inches is, it's significantly higher. So this lets me know what it's got to do before it, gets, uh, before it actually cuts the part. This is very handy in uh, being able to determine whether you have a crash move inside the program or not. If I wanted to close this folder again, I would just click the close G-code file, and I could load another one. I'll go back and reload the same one. Now if I wanted to edit it back over here in the right-hand corner, I'll click edit G-code, and a notepad pops up as a text file. So I can go in, I can edit, I can change, I can do whatever I want to do to the G-code folder. Then I want to save it. Anytime you make any changes, be sure you save the folder. When I close it, you're going to see the control reread the program. You saw that brief window there. It was showing where it was reading through the entire program again so that it could generate the toolpath graphics. It does it in real time. So as you make a change to your program, it's going to come back and it's going to change the toolpath graphics. These graphics can also be viewed over here on the right-hand side where it says toolpath. I click on that, it gives me a larger window to be able to view it. Now I'm left clicking, I'm holding the left mouse button down, I'm just moving the mouse button, and it allows me to rotate. I double click the left mouse button, it'll put me back to the isometrical view. If I want to move around, I hold the right mouse button down, and I can just move back and forth. I can zoom in by using the scroll wheel. Go back, double click, puts me back to the original isometrical view. To get back to our regular program page, go down to the bottom of the screen, click on Program. And if we wanted to run it, we would hit the Start button here, and or if you have a Cycle Start button wired in, you have the Feed Hold or Pause button here to, to stop you. And this is how you load a G-code, close a G-code, edit one, and how the toolpath works.